Hey, Anthony, wait up. You were really quiet today. Is everything okay? Yeah. Everything's fine. Sorry, but that face isn't backing up those words. Seriously, what's up? It's just, everybody seems so further along than me. I can barely dribble the ball and... And? And they're constantly saying things about how bad I am and that I should give up. It's behind your back when you're not listening, but... It's okay. Keep going. I kind of think they're right. I'm not any good at basketball. I never make a shot. You'd probably have a better team without me. Oh, now that's not true. I just, I don't know what to do about it. I mean, I'm practicing really hard. I just need help. Look, Anthony, it's, it's just a process that Excuse takes time. Excuse me. Whoa, who are you? I'm Captain Kaboom. Captain Kaboom? That's right, Captain Kaboom. I couldn't help but overhear that you needed help, young man. Have no fear, Captain Kaboom is here. Not to be rude, but the name Captain Kaboom is kind of, uh, cheesy. Yeah, I know. Look, all the really great names are already taken, especially the ones based on cool animals. But I digress. How can I be of service? Well, I need to get better at basketball. Ah, well, whatever you need, I'm here to help. You're gonna help him get better at basketball. I'm sure I can. I am a superhero after all. A superhero. <laughs> right. Oh, 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 do you have any superpowers? Oh yeah, I've got powers. I'm incredibly strong, like pick up a bus strong. Are you invincible? Not quite, but I have incredible regenerative powers. I also have enhanced reflexes and senses. Oh, can you fly? Yes. Well, actually, it's more like really high, far leaps. So maybe not really flying. OK, hold on. You seriously can do all that? And can you teach me to do all that, too? I don't see why not. I can teach you all kinds of things. We just need a barrel of some toxic chemicals to get started. Yes! I would be unstoppable on the court. Hold on a minute, Anthony. Even if Captain Kaboom could teach you to do all that, None of those powers would actually help you. They wouldn't? Look, sure, they're cool. The physical strength, the healing abilities, the super jumping. But Anthony's problem can't be solved with superpowers. Um, I don't even know how to process that. Uh, what kind of problems can't be solved with superpowers? Well, for starters, problems of the heart. Oh, yeah. Well, for that, I would just, um, uh, yeah. Could you explain that a little? I think I could take it from here. Anthony, I understand what you're going through. You do? Yeah. I was actually a really good basketball player in school. I led the team in scoring, even made all regional team a few times. We won the state championship my senior year. It was great. But you know what? I was a lot like the guys making fun of you for not being a good player. I was arrogant, thought I was better than everyone else, I'd get frustrated when my teammates missed a shot or made a bad pass. I wasn't a good teammate to them. At the time, I didn't care because I thought I was great at the most important thing in the world. I thought winning awards and championships would make me happy. But they didn't? For a while at first, but I still felt empty even after a win. I was so wrapped up in being a good player that I neglected to be a good friend and teammate. So what happened? My coach pulled me aside told me that if I really wanted to be happy, only one thing, one person could make that happen. Jesus. He said the craziest thing, that no matter what, Jesus loved me. Even though I treated my teammates poorly and thought I was more important than anyone else, Jesus still loved me. In fact, Jesus loved me so much, he died for me. I was stunned. <laughs> Jesus died for me. That was the punishment I deserved for my sin, death. But Jesus took my place. Even though Jesus never sinned, he paid the price for my sin, for everyone's. When I thought about that, that someone could still love me after how big of a jerk I was, I knew I needed to change. Not on the outside though, my heart needed to change. My coach prayed with me and I asked Jesus to forgive me for how I had been. I told him I wanted to live a life that pleased and honored him. Live a life that helped others, not tear them down. And when you did that, were you happy? 
You know what? I was. I didn't find my identity in being a basketball player anymore. My identity is in Jesus. And Anthony, your identity shouldn't be in the fact that you might not be as good a basketball player as someone else. Jesus doesn't want you to think of yourself as a failure. He wants you to find your happiness in him. You can practice all you want and become the best shooter the game has ever seen, but that won't change your heart. Only Jesus can do that. Wow. I gotta admit, Jesus does sound like the greatest superhero of all time. Yeah, I guess you can say that. We don't have to solve all our problems on our own. When we trust in Jesus, he's promised to give us the help we need to overcome the doubts and fears we all have. Even in basketball? Even in basketball. <laughs> That's pretty incredible. Doesn't look like you actually need me. Well, I could still use help just getting better at the game. Dude, you've got an awesome coach here. I think you're going to do just fine. Hey, and I'll have a talk with the rest of the team. They need to hear about what Jesus did too. I'm sure we can all use his help to show a little more kindness on the court. Looks like my job here is done. Not sure you really- Remember, if you ever need help, Captain Kaboom will be there. As long as it's an external problem, something I can use my heat vision for. If it's a problem of the heart, then don't worry. You know who to go to. Hey, I have some drills you could do at home to help me. Whoa, he really could fly. Wow. You know, you don't think about the kind of property damage these guys actually leave behind. Too bad he didn't have super cleaning as a power, huh? 